we've used a simulated satellite in the volume of a 12 ounce soda can called the CanSat, going up about 100,000 feet uh, in a high altitude balloon. Oh, so we helped create the payload for the actual balloon launch, so what's going to go up? We needed to have a correct velocity. So to fly a high altitude balloon on July 25th, our mean distance is 71.44 kilometers from the Jaeger Airport. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually now. Oh, cool. So the opportunity to do uh, projects like this all the way up to lower orbit, it's out there, there are new things being learned, and there's gonna be something that's gonna be learned on this uh, launch as well. So I'm the Chief Technologist at NASA, and we're delighted to be here. And that's so impressed by what the Scout, Boy Scouts of America, the organization is doing. And um, this is just a, a great example of how we can teach our young folks to start early. And this is exactly the kind of data that we're looking for that leads to, to better science and better knowledge of the planet and the, the universe around us. Three, two, one. that the isopropyl alcohol actually didn't change much, but the water began to boil at lower altitudes, but then started to freeze higher up where it was colder.